Hi there, this is Gila. I just wanted to say that I am appalled to hear that Tommy Robinson's appeal date has been cancelled. It was set for July the 10th and now it's been cancelled because the British authorities apparently need more time to prepare their case against him. Now, if you remember what happened to Tommy Robinson, it was five hours from the moment of his arrest to being condemned to 13 months and sent to prison. He was not given time to prepare his case. And Tommy Robinson is in only prison. That has the highest proportion of Muslim inmates, I believe, in the country, over 30%. He has to be in solitary confinement for his own protection, which is not a fun place to be. So every day is not easy for him. Every day is long. So please email him, support his legal campaign. Um, I'll give the details below. And press for the earliest hearing for his appeal. In the meantime, I just wanted to share just a very few thoughts. Um, personally, as a British person, I'm descended from lots of people, as are we all, um, from the earliest hunter-gatherers to the earliest farmers who came from the Middle East to, um, in more recent times, I know I'm descended from Huguenots and from Jews and from um, all sorts of people. Um, and I'm British. And traditionally, at least for the last few hundred years, uh, maybe not before then, but Britain has been a haven for people fleeing persecution, certainly in Europe. Um, I, as I say, I mentioned Huguenots. Uh, they were French Protestants forced to flee from France um, under Catholic persecution. And what has happened with people who've come here is one of two things has happened. Either people have completely assimilated and become part of the British fabric, or they have kept their distinct religion, way of life, or whatever, but have totally respected the country and its laws in which they live. Haven't tried to change other people to fit them. There is something different with the majority of Muslim people who have come here. It seems that we have to allow their Sharia law, which frankly is deeply oppressive to women and is actually deeply oppressive to non-Muslims too, um, and to homosexuals and to atheists and to anyone who even renounces their religion. Um, and secondly, um, you hear about places that won't celebrate Christmas because they don't want to offend Muslims. Well, what sort of country do we live in if the majority of people can't... Um, respect their own traditions. There's something wrong here. There's a one influx of people where the native people apparently are supposed to um, change their life and respect Islamic blasphemy laws. When if you actually look at the religion uh, itself, I'm not talking obviously about people per se, but the actual ideology, there is a lot that is totally inconsistent with British laws about freedom, um, especially freedom of speech. Anyway, I just wanted to um, bring anyone who's watching up to date with what's happened to Tommy Robinson. Um, there are one or two videos you might be interested in looking at. Um, which can give you more details. Okay, thank you, and let us hope and pray that Tommy Robinson is safely back home with his wife and family uh, very soon now. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.